Today is a very special day. A while ago, I got a letter from my friend, Brooklyn. She is running in a marathon. A marathon is when you run a really long way on purpose. Can you believe that? You get a medal at the end, which is great. But Brooklyn isn't running for the medal. My parents told me that Brooklyn is running so that kids, just like you and me, that live in far off places, can have clean water to drink. I know! I thought everyone had that too, but they don't. And that's why Brooklyn is running in this marathon, to raise money so that kids and their families can drink clean water and be healthy. It made me think what an amazing message that would be. A message is when someone tells you something or brings something to you. What an amazing message clean water would be if I'd never had that before. Can you imagine? Anyway, I have a very important job for Brooklyn's Marathon. I have to make a sign for the very last turn of the run. Brooklyn is going to be very tired. I have to make sure that she goes the right way to reach the end. Can you help me? It says, good job. Turn now. Do you think this is a good sign for Brooklyn? No. No? Well, I guess the letters are pretty small. And it doesn't even tell her which way to turn. <laughs> yeah, I guess this isn't the best message for Brooklyn to get. Here is another sign. What about this one? It says, almost done. Finish over there. No. No? Hmm. Yeah, I guess the letters are still pretty small and it says finish over there, but doesn't say where. <laughs> Brooklyn would be running in circles. Wow, I've got some work to do. While I work, let's check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Acts, chapter 9. There was a man named Saul who was doing very mean things to anyone who believed in Jesus or obeyed Jesus' teachings. By going after Jesus' followers, Saul sent a clear message to everyone. If you follow God, I can make bad things happen to you. So watch out! One day, Saul was traveling down the road on his way to do more mean things, and a bright light came from heaven. It knocked Saul to the ground. Then, a voice spoke to Saul out of the light and asked him why he was doing mean things to him. Saul didn't know who it was. Who was he doing mean things to? It turns out, the voice belonged to Jesus. Jesus told Saul that when he made life hard for people who love Jesus, it was like Saul was doing it to Jesus. But now, Jesus was giving Saul a chance to do the right thing. When Saul got up from the ground, he couldn't see. He was blind. So the men who were with Saul helped him get up and go to the place Jesus told him to go to. At the same time, Jesus also spoke to a man named Ananias. Jesus told him to go find Saul. Ananias was scared because he had heard about the mean things Saul had done to people like him, but he obeyed Jesus and went. Jesus used Ananias to heal Saul of his blindness. He could see again. Then Ananias told him the very important message Jesus had for Saul. Saul had been pointing people away from Jesus, but now he would point people toward Jesus. Saul would be a messenger telling people to believe in and obey Jesus. Jesus could deliver all of these messages himself if he wanted, but instead, God chooses to use people like Saul, Ananias, you and me, to deliver these messages because we are God's messengers. That Bible story was crazy! Can you imagine a light so bright that it knocks you down? Jesus really wanted Saul to get the message. Saul's new job was to help people know God. Oh, that reminds me, I made another sign. Check it out. This sign says, go Brooklyn. It points in the direction of the finish line and it says, you rock. And on the back, it says, and roll. 
Do you think this sign is the one? Yeah, I think so too! I love it! It's so cool that Brooklyn is going to bring the wonderful message of clean water to kids and their families by running this marathon! And it's so, so cool that I get to give Brooklyn this final message of the race! It's so, so, so cool that God chose to use soul to help spread the message of Jesus! I guess we all have a message to share, huh? Because... We are all God's messengers! Let's get to it, friends! I'm off to the race! Wish Brooklyn luck! Thanks for learning and growing with me! Bye! <laughs>